Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't know about you, but whenever someone accuses me of something, I always, always, always want to see the evidence. And uh, something tells me that you are the same way. Otherwise, we can all point fingers at one another and um, claim whatever we want without prevent presenting any evidence. And then how can we determine that uh, the person is guilty of anything? Just throwing around accusations will not get us anywhere until we prove the accusations, correct? Correct. Well, I have here an article and unfortunately I have to say that it comes um, from my British friends and uh, not from you, but the ones that uh, inform you and I on certain issues. And in this case, they already uh, came to a determination of who's guilty without the evidence being presented. And that's very dangerous. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what this all about. So, this article comes from The Telegraph. I think this is a uh, British media outlet. And um, it's from today. And today is the 29th of September, 2022. This is the title. Please pay attention to um, the words they use, okay? Brit Britain launches urgent security review of North, North Sea energy pipelines after Russian, quote-unquote, sabotage. Again, Britain launches urgent security review of North Sea energy pipelines after Russian sabotage. What does that mean? That tells you that it's been determined somehow, without our knowledge, that Russia was the one who sabotaged the gas pipelines. That's what I take out of it, right? Pipelines after Russian sabotage. It's not French sabotage. All right, let's go and read the first. I have only two paragraphs. Security around Britain's oil and gas pipelines is being urgently reviewed after Vladimir Putin was accused of sabotage following unprecedented damage to undersea links between Russia and Europe. So from being accused to the title Russian sabotage, one is being accused, you're just accused, you have to provide the evidence. Jumping to the title which says Russian sabotage, that's a affirmative, I was about to say action, <laughs> an affirmative sentence. That's like a fact, no? It's not might, could be, alleged, potential. <sighs> the energy industry is discussing with government officials how to protect North Sea oil and gas rigs and pipelines after underwater explosions damaged Nord Stream Land 2, causing four leaks. Uh, Nord Stream 1 and 2, causing four leaks. So, it seems like from the title, that's extraordinary, they are losing it. You know, like velocity. It is losing it. It started strong. Britain launches urgent security review of North Sea energy pipelines after Russian sabotage. That's a fact. There's no might, could, blah, blah, blah. And then they drop, drop to underwater explosions damaged Nord Stream without mentioning Russia. And the uh, previous paragraph, Putin was accused of sabotage. So uh, we got here three statements that are in one is complete, the other one is in between, and the other one is like, we don't know. So who wrote this article? Do we have a name? And it's not only the name, it's because this is not just a guy, uh, Rachel or Rachel, I don't know, Millard or Millard how we want to pronounce her name. It's not her, because she can write whatever garbage she wants to write in 
however semantics she might feel fit. The problem is that her um, her um, um, work, her article that she writes, it goes to another person, an editor, and he's reading it, and he's reading it and sends it back to Miss Millard, and Miss Millard corrects it and sends it back. It's back and forth until the article comes to the uh, preference and acceptance of the editor. Now, I don't know if that editor goes further with that or not, but the editor, be certain he's vetted by the Telegraph in how articles must be written. If you think that Miss Millard typed her article and she just sent it and they published it like that, please allow me to tell you that it's not like that. Okay, and I just told you how it is. Back and forth. Now, Miss Millard, I don't think this is her first day on the job. So, Miss Millard had this back and forth with her a guy or <clears throat> the person in charge of her, her work, many times. So, she kind of know, got the hints, what is acceptable and what needs to be changed. Like in many or in some jobs I had. You do certain things and they send back to you. You do this a few times and you realize exactly what the other person wants from you without telling you, without writing on your paper, on your report, on your article. Hey, dumb, I want you to write like this. This is the policy and the view of the telegraph. Not yours. You're here to you work for us. You're not independent or anything. That's the way it works. And after a few of this, if you're a dumbass, you're going to be fired because you don't get it. But if you're a, a minimum IQ, you get the hint after some repetition. And you know beforehand what you need to write in order for the editor to say, good boy, good boy, over your head, like a puck, 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 just like that. If you remember Benny Hill, that comedy show in Great Britain, puck, 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 puck. he was hitting all the time that guy with bald headed old guy. No, that's the way, that's that's us. Puck, 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 puck. Like that. Hey, good boy, good boy, you got it, you got it, you jumped through all the hoops. Now you're gonna get the money, I will give it to you. That's how it works. So, uh, yeah, this uh, Millard, Miss Millard, makes three different statements, issues three different statements with three different um, values on the same issue. One, the explosions like, mm. the second one, Putin himself accused of it. He was, blah, 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 blah. he went and put all the, uh -huh. and the third one, Russian sabotage, straight right there. This is the mass media and it's, uh, <clears throat> may I say the telegraph. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.